Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Tiar uh, Tejuelo. We're going to do a much more uplifting video today, and it's going to be focused trains around my dear friend Laura Minx123. I will mention other channels in this video and I will put them in the description box. But the main focus of this video is to do a runestone reading for my most precious friend, Laura Minx123. Now, I forgot something. <sighs> what you know? I might leave that in the video just for fun because I know some people like it when I screw up. Now, first off, why am I doing a runestone reading and a shout out to my dear friend Laura Makes One Two Three? And there's a reason you might ask, because I have done shout outs for her before. Well, this is a special reason. I promised her a long time ago I would do a runestone reading for her. And when I did, she said, that is so kind of you to do that for me, that I'm going to send you her address. I don't care if you see mine. I'm going to send you a present, a little tiny present. Now, if you'd like a present, what would you like? And here it is. I got a present from her. Isn't that cool? Now, she didn't have to do this. And I know she thinks it's silly. But look, I got royal mail. <laughs> Not very much royal in the United States. Except politicians who are a royal pain in the ass. Ha ha ha. So, it was so kind of her. And what did she send me? She sent me an envelope, chock full, of wonderful candy that you can't get, you can't get this in the United States anymore. She sent me Curly Whirly. That's right. One of my best friends, Laura Minx123, sent me a whole bunch of Curly Whirlies. Now, Laura knows I love my little girl, so I'm going to save most of them for my little girls. And we're going to put them back in the envelope. But this one, this Cadbury Curly Whirly, Laura, this one's only for me. Now, Laura's been going through a lot lately, and she's dear to my family's heart. And we worry about her so. And I am very grateful to have a good friend of her, like her. And, let's see how this works. Oh, I wanted to tell you a little history. Curly Whirlies, it's a caramel covered with chocolate and it's braided. They used to call them marathon bars in the United States, but they were about nine inches long and they were real wide. You should be able to find the marathon bar commercial on. YouTube it was really popular they would ask a guy that was going to be killed by the firing squad what his last request was and he would say I want a marathon bar and he would chew and chew and chew because the caramel takes forever to chew through and all the uh, guards and the uh, executioners would fall asleep and he would just wander off in the woods and survive so the marathon bar saved a lot of people from getting uh, um, executed back in the day you didn't know that. Now that was the American version, Marathon Bar. They would actually put like a ruler on the uh, packaging because it was so long. Now Curly Whirly is a lot thinner and smaller, but that was 25, 30 years ago when I was a little boy that they sold Marathon Bars. The Curly Whirly is, of course, a Cadbury bar. It's very interesting. So we're going to open it up. Now I know Laura was fretting over this, but there's nothing we can do about it. But it was probably a good thing because I didn't send, uh, I'm going to send a present back and it's not going to be chocolate because, yes, it did melt a little bit. It's actually a very pretty braided caramel, 
but uh, you can see that it melted a little bit but it's still mm. Mm. Oh. what was that show in Britain absolutely fabulous and then the sequel with the heavy set crowd absolutely flabulous <laughs> oh I'm so funny Chocolate and caramel make me choke like on a Snicker bar. Mmm. We'll save the rest for a little later. Oh, but Laura. Mmm. I don't care if you're a Christian girl. You gotta believe tonight. Mmm. 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 You put those in my hand after all these years? And God shine down on you and me both. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is some good ass candy. I haven't had anything like that in a while. Okay. Well, I'm chewing on this bad boy. We got something big down here. Now, if you all remember, this is. hat box and in honor of Laura Minx one two three I'd like to say tingle 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 I know she likes doing that tingle 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 she's so good at that now this isn't a very macho hat box but it's very functional because this is our magic hat box and there's some goodies in here and treats and they're not just for Laura Minx no 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 all my fans out there should know that there's some Cthulhu videos coming up one of which is going to be called Atoll K when Atoll K comes up expect to see a lot more Cthulian mythos videos and I've requested a craft be made by my most talented friend Peggy Whispers in Chaos a lot of you know her <clears throat> because we've done collaborations together she is a most talented artist and a very dear friend of Laura's as well and she's going to make me a little Cthulian amulet and one more thing before we open this box I have a dear friend named Stephen Gilmore goes by one Blazing Eagle one and I have to mail him a present I bought two years ago and I forgot all about it so today we're going to show some of the toys I bought for all of my dear friends and we're going to have a special runestone reading. And I'm going to lay this off to the side. <clears throat> What's this? What is this? Oh my god. Is that a crinkly little bag of pony toys? For my little girlfriends, Laura and Peggy and my best buddy in the whole world, Stefan, who is the kindest, he's like a son to me, wonderful young man, and he's not too proud to admit he's a brony. We are going to honor them with some very cool crinkly pony toys and I hope that my dear friends Laura and Peggy will oblige me and make a wonderful video when they receive these with these crinkly bags I think I'll have a lot of fun with those <clears throat> 
So we'll set those over to the side. We're gonna set all of these fun little toys aside. something a little different. I have a fortune cookie. And I'm going to find out exactly what the fortune cookie has to say about our dear friend Laura Minx. Then we're gonna spread out this cloth so we don't make a lot of racket with our rune stones. Take a small fistful of rune stones. Not a lot. We're gonna do a casting, a right-handed crack casting. came upside down that will be the future and that will be the past these three will be the present we will attempt to read them in reverse because they landed upside down okay we will discard the extra but as a bonus we're gonna see how Improvisational I can be by opening up this fortune cookie. Ooh, what a nice sound. Now, you saw it was sealed. This is the fortune for Laura Mix. I'll let you read it yourself. Life is a verb. That's what you get for growing up in Ohio. Sorry, Laura. Now, what I take from that is life is not a subject, a thing. Life is a verb, it's an action. Run, live, love, lust, hate, loathe, joy, peace. Life is a verb. Live it. Live it to its fullest. Make the most out of your life. That's what I get from it. Life is a verb. So don't be afraid to live your life, Laura. And have as much fun, joy, and peace as you can. I hope I'm making everybody hungry. Now, Trusty notes. And let's talk about the past. Now, the moonstone reading from we have today for the past cannot be reversed. stone represents destructive forces. Now this is the past. 
This refers to the destructive forces of nature and things that are out of our control and it cannot be reversed. Now, Laura, you know in the past there was a lot of destructive forces around you, things you couldn't control, and it upset you, and it hurt your feelings. But you also know, because you're a realist and you're a gentle soul, that those things that were out of your control, that you couldn't stop from happening with people, are in the past. And you can't let the past hold you back. And you know that. You deserve to have a full life. And destructive things and hurtful things that were out of your control, that made you feel weak and small, they belong in the past. Try to remember that because you know in your heart there was nothing you could do about it. Our next stone is Tiwaz, the Sky God. To be successful in competition, very motivated, finding the spiritual and transcendental self. The reverse of this, which we are going to read it in reverse, is low energy and lack of enthusiasm. It's hard to keep your energy up, especially somebody that is so prolific and hardworking and dedicated as my dear friend Laura makes. I don't know very many ASM artists that are as dedicated and prolific about putting out their work on a regular basis as Laura. With her recent improvements in her channel with her new laptop and camera, I am stunned that she continues to try as hard as she can to improve on what she's already laid down as a good body of work. And she should be commended on that. So that's how I read that stone in reverse. Don't let your low energy and your enthusiasm drift and fail you. Keep it up. Success is based on you doing the hard work that you know you have to do. And have all the faith in the world that you can do it. Now our second stone is not able to be reversed. This is the U tree, which stands for stability, doing the right things, patience, perseverance, endurance. Decided what is the right way to get things accomplished in your life and you do it. Now this goes right alongside. This is a very good reading. You know in the past you couldn't control the forces out of your reach. And when something bad happens out of your control, you have to put it in the past. Now, what we have here is don't let slothfulness, laziness, fear, loathing, sadness destroy you and hold you back from doing the work that you know you can do. That's this. Here we have a very clear sign of how Everything I said about Laura is true. She is a hard, dedicated worker. She is so studious, such an enduring personality, and she uses all of her willpower. Even when she's sick, she still produces videos to the best of her ability. Recently, I do know she was sick with a cold and still produced a, an amazing, not one, I think two or three videos with a sinus infection and they were fantastic high quality well done gracious as she could be to her audience you can't ask for more than that you really can't I don't know who could sit there and tell me honestly they could ask for more and of course this one is <clears throat> To be reversed is called watch out for trickery this is ansus 
the references of the ancestral god Odin. This is more like a Loki in your life, a trickster. Watch out for trickery. The dark side of yourself when others interfering with your plans or there is failed communication. When you see something that you know in your heart is wrong. That you're being fooled, tricked, or misled. Laura, follow your heart. Follow your instincts. Follow your logic. Because with Laura, these aren't separate things. She's not a flutter heart. She's a dedicated, studious, hardworking person who works to the very end of her endurance. Don't be fooled. Trust your instincts, your logic, your reason, and your emotions. If it smells like it's rotten, it's rotten. And that's what this means. I don't want to dwell too much on the negative. But I know for a fact that Laura lives this. She sees it. She tells it like it is. She moves on. And she puts it in the past. I am honored to be doing this reading and seeing so many truths in these stones and you know it's random you know I'm not trying to divine anything this is strictly for entertainment purposes but for the sake of my spirit and hers and the spirit of her wonderful family all of them included and the wonderful boyfriend Nathan I see truth in this my mind is being led to all the positive attributes from these stones that exist in Laura that I know that person is a friend. I know it's for entertainment purposes only. You're being fooled into believing that I'm divining this. But don't be fooled by what my mind sees. My mind interprets what the stones show me. Leave it in the past. Move forward. Don't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. This, this woman knows a snake when she sees one. So don't mess with Laura Minx. Now this is the one that might be a little tenuous right now. Because I know for a fact, Laura's going through a lot. But we're going to look at the future anyway. And we're going to be bold. And we're going to be honest. And we're going to be as caring as we can. And we're going to look at the future. And the future is emotions. Water. This represents the flow of our emotions in the future. Which is also represented by the moon. The low ebb of light in the face of the moon so far away reflected down upon us. The flow of emotions and all things into the collective unconsciousness, all bodies of water. This is the Aquarius symbol, feminine energies, the higher mind, spirituality, health and healing, a time to cleanse and a time for cleansing. The future speaks to me in volumes that I can't even put into terms for my dearest friend and fellow ASM artist, Laura Minx123. Except to speak the truth of my heart as I see this rune reading. We know Laura will face terrible and difficult times in the future. But we also know that the future often soon becomes the past and she's going to lay that behind her. And in the present, we know she's as studious and hardworking as a human being can possibly be. And we can't be any more proud of her. And the future shows us that she is the water, the water that's going to bend the will of her life around that rock, that impedance in front of her, impedance. 
she's going to conquer all of the barriers in front of her as water seeks its own level water finds a way water finds a way Laura it weeps and seeps and it cries as it finds its own way and its own level in the world a common ground and a common place and we can't fear the future because the future is very bright it is very bright because the feminine energies the spirituality the strength the determination the love the raw raw love and talent of this most most important person Laura makes one two three shows through it's like Bruce Lee said water and he wasn't joking he wasn't making some silly kung-fu joke water finds a way through it finds the path of least resistance water seeks its own level with the world its own reality water will not be stopped it will find a way through water can make the glass and it can make a rock break apart into pebbles in this case I believe water flows Laura it flows forward in time it flows forward in our lives in our space we don't go backwards we go forward in a different direction we make it work water cuts its own path just like you're trailblazing your own path this is what I see for the future for Laura and I've done a lot of runestone readings and I've had a lot of people write to me and tell me I was spot on or I was off on little things I called one a pregnancy and they said there's no way but I have never so far done a runestone reading that I feel is positive about where my subconscious these stones and my intuition came together with my improvisational skills to say something great about a wonderful friend a friend in need Laura is a friend indeed and I see that you're the one that's the one that's going to carry all of us down that path you're going to cut that path you're going to show everybody the way to go and I for one am very proud very very proud that you are my friend and I think a lot of people a lot more people than not would agree with me now I know I'm waxing on and being silly but I think sometimes we need to take the time to be positive. We need to take the time to be uplifting. We need to take the time to be sensitive to the people around us. I know in some ways I was negative in my last video. And I wanted to be the furthest thing from that in every video that follows from that one. And the reason for that is, that's why I want to keep doing this. I want to keep doing these videos because I was inspired, cared for, and loved. That's right. I'm talking about kind and gentle people that have never met me, that showed me care, kindness, and love. People like Whispering Unicorn, Gentle Whispers, Whispering Role Plays. 
when I started my channel, I was immediately found by a nice young man. He's younger than me, so everybody's young. So forgive me if I am sounding insulting. But I was found by a great storyteller, Femoral Rift. And all of these people, from Ephemeral Rift to Laura Minx123, and many, many others to follow, showed me love, kindness, respect, and compassion. And I'm hoping all of them remember that. That that's why I want to continue doing this. These stones are not magical. But there is magic in this room, and there is magic on this table, but it's not a stone, and it's not a glyph on the stone. The magic is right here. Magic is in my heart. That kind people, storytellers, ASM artists, saw what I was doing and took the time to welcome me, be my brothers and sisters. I had very little in common with Laura Makes. But she has tried so hard to find a common level ground with me. Like the water flowing down a stream, she has tried to reach out and envelop my soul with kindness, love, charity, and peace. And I'm very welcome to have friends like her. And I hope all of you out there that are still listening, remember that it's not the fact that she sent me some piece of candy in the mail that I'm saying all these things. I'm saying these things because she did all that before. Before she felt like sending me a piece of candy. And if you can't see that, if you're a person out there that has some kind of impedance in your life, that you can't see that, I don't want you to be that way. I want you to see it. And I feel sorry for you. And I have compassion for you. And I hope you'll find a better way and a better path. Because my friend Laura did. She has a lot of success in her life because of it. A lot of happiness in her life because of it. There's something to be said about that. Somebody that doesn't look back. She looks forward. So, I'm sure most of you are more familiar with her channel than mine. But if you're not, please take the time to go and search her out. Her channel is in the description box. It's also right up here. Search out her channel and please leave a wonderful comment, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you can. I would love it if somebody would please go to her channel and say, Tear Ha De Hoylo sent me to your channel. With lots of love. She's like a little, she's like my daughter. She doesn't even know it. And I don't say that very often. But as
says, I want to send something to my son across the sea, Stefan. I didn't forget about him. And my other little girl, Peggy, <laughs> keeps calling me her dad. I don't forget my friends. I know it seems like it because I forget sometimes, but I don't forget my friends. And I do try to help them when I can. So, please, this week, try to have a most blessed day every day and a most blessed week. And if you put a little kindness in the world, maybe you'll get a little back. I know I do. I'm not ashamed to say these things. No matter how they make me appear. And I've never been ashamed of my religion. Because I do believe if you show a little kindness to somebody, it doesn't matter who your God is. It matters what you do for that person there, your fellow man. And that makes a difference. And that means something, no matter who your deity is. That doesn't matter, and he'd be the first one to say it. What matters is what's in your heart. Friends like Laura and Peggy and Stefan and, and so many others, my heart is full. And you you help me keep going. No matter what I see out there, you help me keep going. You make me want to keep going. Okay. I hope I'm not too sentimental and silly and I hope you'll share and rate comment show a little love to my friend Laura and others all their channels will be in the description box below now I don't want anybody to envy me or be jealous but damn I got a really cool friend Laura makes one two three <laughs> Mm. Don't worry, Laura. I'll give the rest to the girls. <laughs> My little girl's going to be thrilled. Have a good week. I kind of like this. I don't like food videos myself. I talked to her real nice ASM artist. I'm going to put her name below because I can't remember. She's a wonderful girl. She's from New Zealand. And they make curly worries down the street from her. I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know, Laura sent these. I mentioned it to a few friends. And somebody halfway across the world I just got to meet. Just got to know. Let me know that they make these right down the street. So, it's a small world, honey. A little bit. The sweetness goes a long way to make the world a better place. Have I said enough? I want it in the video, but this is... Why is this something else? I actually can't believe the trains haven't come by. Really, I've been done with this video for a while. These are cool. These are like toys within a toy. But for an ASMR artist, they're lovely. You'll want with them. You see how the guy got away with the execution? <clears throat> I'm still chewing on it. <laughs> okay. What is ridiculous? I'm glad I didn't eat them all. I'll be here all day. Some video that would be. Okay. Oh, caramel stuck in my teeth. Okay. 
Take care, and we'll see you all soon. Remember, my next video, Cthulian Atoll K. Watch for Atoll K. It's a request. Bye-bye.